We're learning about a potential link between coronavirus and type 1 diabetes. The results of two new studies just came out finding COVID-19 could lead to the disease. Here's Adriana D'Alba. Well, this new study sheds more light on the lingering effects of COVID-19 or long COVID. It found in some cases a COVID recovery is just the beginning of other serious health issues. As researchers take a closer look at the long-term effects of COVID-19, two new NIH-backed studies found some people may develop diabetes after a COVID-19 infection. The studies found COVID destroys cells in the pancreas that produce insulin and that the decrease in insulin leads to high glucose. It's like a double whammy. Dr. Ananda Basu is a professor of medicine at UVA. We'll have to see whether that ends up in creating diabetes in these people who did not have diabetes in the past. It's unknown how many COVID patients develop diabetes or if it's permanent or resolved. Dr. Elizabeth Broderick is a physician at the Children's Clinic in Newport News. This virus has really figured out a door to get into our cells. And then because so many people have had COVID in the United States, we may see subsequent cases of diabetes that they otherwise never would have had. UVA plans to do its own research. If the university gets the funding it needs from the NIH, it'll take an even closer look at the possible link between COVID-19 and diabetes. Adriana De Alba, 13 News Now. And some of the signs of diabetes include thirst, increased urination, unintended weight loss, and fatigue. If you have these symptoms, you should get your blood sugar tested.